Hob with DJ Casey, and we're going to integrate acceleration to find the velocity and the position grant of me driving really. So the velocity equals the integral of the acceleration, which equals one-third t cubed plus t squared plus 4t. Now in order to find the original position graph, we have to take the integral of the velocity. So position equals integral of the velocity, which that equals 1 12th t to the 4th plus 1 3rd t cubed plus 2t squared. That would be my original position. If cam speed is 20 miles per hour, like this going down the road, what is his acceleration? Yo, it's DJ Casey, and from earlier when you saw Cam driving in his van, this is the velocity equation that we got. To find speed, you gotta take, to find speed, you take the absolute value of this equation, which equals absolute value, 20 t, which equals just the 20 t that we got for our, for our velocity. Find acceleration. Or, yeah, to find acceleration. So v one t. You have to take the um, derivative of that, which is just twenty, because you just get rid of the t, and that equals twenty for your acceleration. And then to find your position position equation. You have to take the integral of this equation right here, of your velocity equation. So your position equals the integral of 20t dt, which equals 10t squared plus plus C, and that gives your position equation. That's all. If Casey runs forward 40 meters, then runs back 20 meters, and then runs another 10 meters forward, what is Casey's total displacement? Hi, I'm Professor Grable, and this is DJ Van Hoof. And as you saw earlier with Casey's example of running, this was a displacement. So here's our position graph. Casey moved in the positive direction 40 meters, right? Then he traveled 20 meters in the negative direction, which is from 40 to 60. Then he traveled another 10 meters in the positive direction. So, in other words, Another way to look at it, Casey traveled 40 meters in the positive direction, 20 meters in the negative direction, and another 10 meters in the positive direction. So really, Casey only traveled this distance right here, which we're solving for with the displacement. So the displacement equation, D equals, you're going to add the positive direction, which is 40, then you're going to subtract the 20, which case he went backward. And then you're going to add 10, which case he moved in the positive direction again. Which gives you a total of 30 meters displacement. Yo, DJ Jules, let's kick it. Stop. Stop. Drive in and listen. Calc is back with a brand new invention. Position grabs a hold of me tightly. Then I drive to get velocity nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, Yo I, don't I don't know. know. Give me Give the board, me the board and, I'll and I'll show. show. Take the absolute value and get speed like a vandal. Drive again, you have acceleration like a scandal. Calc, calc, baby. Calc, calc, baby. 
Kel, Kel, baby. Kel, Kel, baby. Keep my composure when it's time to derive. Magnetized vent integration while I'm kicking my juice. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the board while my partner resolves it. Kel, Kel, baby. Kel, Kel, baby. Kel, Kel, baby. Kel, Kel, baby. And that's our extravagant video on position, speed, velocity, and acceleration. We hope you enjoyed our thorough video on the fundamental theorems of calculus. For next time, I'm Professor Grable. I'm DJ Casey. I'm DJ Hav. We love calculus. Time to ball. And we'll see you next time.